Today I'd like to teach you how to play Boom Boom, otherwise known as Boogie Chillin' by John Lee Hooker. I'm tuned to G, G, D, G. This song is actually an E, but it works out great for us. And it's a call and answer song. So you play a lick, then you play another lick to answer it. So I'll show you the first lick. We're going to start with a three, sort of slide into it. On the first string, then two on the first string open on the first string and then two zero two on the middle string there's a swing feel to it I'm playing it a little bit slower so that you can follow along And then we have the answer, which is some chords. The chord, first chord is G, and then A, then G, and then E. But we're not going to jump up here to the ninth fret E at this time. We're just going to play the middle string second fret. But there is something important about that. Because we're playing slide, and our slide's going to hit all the strings. I mean, you could try to tip it and hit that one string, but eh, I don't know if that'd be so good. Now you notice how just that middle string came out? That's because over here on my right hand, my thumb is controlling and muting this string. My first finger is playing the middle string and my middle finger is playing the high string. This is really common and good to do when you're playing fretless because you have control over each string. Otherwise you end up getting extra sounds that you don't want. Okay, hopefully we've got that, and it does that again, and then it's going to go to the 4 chord, which would be an A chord, which would be on the 2nd fret. Right there. And we play the same answer lick, but now we play it over an A chord, so that would be 5, 7, 5. Back to 2. And then back to the 1st lick, which is always the same. And we do the lick again. Now this time we're going to go to the 5 chord, which is B, which is going to be found on the 4th fret. And we play our answer on 7-9-7. Seven, seven. And then back to the 1. Now we don't go to the 5 chord to end things off or anything like that. We just start again from there. That's all there is to that. So hopefully you follow along there. It is a little tricky with the uh, first lick getting that one note to come out and muting the two side strings. But once you get that, the rest is very easy. Now the one thing that is different about this song is when the singing starts, you don't do that lick anymore. You just fill in. And of course you wouldn't fill in with opens. You'd fill in with nines. that. And you would go right to the 4 chord on the 2nd fret. And back to the 1, which would be the 9. Now here, you go, you're going to the 5 chord but you go right away to the 5 chord, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, you got to play that lick first, or shouldn't you play that on E? Well, actually, no, because the band is playing over the 5 chord while he plays that lick. That's what's neat about that lick. He actually plays it over the 1, plays it over the 4, plays it over the 5. I'm talking about this lick here. 
So what you would do from here, and now the lick is coming into your imagination, you go right to the fourth fret, which is the five chord. And you do its answer, which would be seven, nine, seven, four. And then you're back into the one. Remember to pinch the two outside strings to get that single note. And then you'd have the choice of doing another vocal verse or doing the lick. Or if you're playing with other people, somebody would start jamming there at that point, I would presume. You know, anything like that. Have a great day. Bye.